MIDI controllers and keyboards do have several things in common, but are not exactly the same. The basic design and use of a MIDI controller is to send control signals via MIDI to a remote device like a sound module. Keyboards have some of that same functionality, but also have a sound module built in. There are no audio outputs on a MIDI controller, because they do not have a sound module built in. Because of this, controllers are usually less expensive than keyboards. So why get a controller? Mainly because the industry is moving towards software synths, which are loaded into your digital audio workstation. In other words, the sound module becomes a software plugin within the host recording system. To access those sounds, you just need a controller and not a whole keyboard. Controllers also come in several types and sizes, ranging from full-size 88 weighted keys to much smaller single octave sized gear. Korg, M-Audio, and Yamaha have large portions of the retail dedicated to controllers for all sorts of different applications. Pitch, pan, and general sensitivity of your playing are a few of the major benefits of good controllers. Many offer full-scale integration and control of your software as well. Many keyboards have MIDI inputs and outputs, but most are limited to just piano keyboard functionality with modulation and pitch control. They typically don't have fader or pan pots for controlling your DAW program. Of course, these options are always changing. These days, keyboards are mainly used for live performance or to write music where a full-size piano simply isn't available, or you do not have access to your plug-in synths.